Hey guys, I'm back with another review, and this time we're going to take a look at the Marvel Legends uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2 Infinite Series Spawn of Symbiotes Carnage figure. Oh my goodness, what a name. Um, so yeah, uh, this is from the new Infinite Legends series, obviously, and I actually picked this figure up like a month or two ago now, and um, just behind on my reviews, so I wanted to get this out there while it's still somewhat relevant, um, because he is a really cool figure and I did want to just, you know, throw my two cents out there and, um, let you know what I thought. So I'll show you the package first, which we're all pretty familiar with by now. It's the, uh, window packaging, really nice, and so since this is not a movie character, he does just have the Marvel Spider-Man logo at the top and does not actually say the Amazing Spider-Man. Um, at the bottom you have Spawn of Symbiotes because he is one of two figures um, two variants or whatever you want to call them, and that is Carnage and Toxin. And Carnage is really awesome, and I have not seen Toxin in person, but the pictures and reviews that others are putting out there make him look really goofy, and so I'm, I'm actually, I haven't, you know, seen him in my store, so that's fine. He's the one figure that I, I don't, don't really want, other than, I don't want Electro either, really, but he's been around, so I have seen him. Um, so yeah, back of the packaging. And he does come with some pieces to Ultimate Green Goblin. He comes with the head, which looks really good. Sorry, my thumb is like in the way. Um, we've got the gritting teeth and the red eyes, the horns. Looks really cool. Um, so I do hope to eventually put this together. I've got almost all the pieces now. Um, and he also comes with the flames that go on the back. So that looks cool. Molded in this clear, like, orange plastic. With some shading on it. It looks really good. So we'll look at the figure itself. Uh, this is built on the Bucky Cat mold, which is, you know, basically the the generic male mold that well, Hasbro's been using for their male figures now. Um, and at first I kind of thought that, I feel like I expected Carnage to be bigger, but um, now I can see, like, this is, this is actually perfect because he is, he is bigger than Spider-Man, because Spider-Man's on, like, a thinner build but he's not too big like a Hyperion mold that they use for a toxin. So I, this works really well actually, and he looks really good. Articulation is all good as we know from this, from being familiar with this mold by now. And um, say maybe the only issue is that his feet are kind of small, which I've always kind of thought. Even Bucky's boots look kind of small, but yeah, you don't really notice it, I don't think. So uh, otherwise he does look really cool. The head sculpt looks awesome. Uh, the the eyes are sculpt like sculpted in on the edges here, um, and the painted with an iridescent white. What is iridescent? Yeah, and the mouth is is you know open. It looks almost like he's laughing, and he's got the the rigid like the um, sharp little teeth with the and he's got a pink tongue on the inside. It looks I don't know if you can do this on camera, but it is definitely a different color. It's pink and he's red. So they they did a really nice job on the head sculpt. The articulation on the head is fantastic. Like look at him looking around like that. Like it's Free and clear, baby. Um, and you can see he's got the... All the black tendrils are painted on. They're not sculpted like the old Carnage, uh, Marvel Legends Carnage. But I think it looks fine. Um, you know, it's it's a... I, I generally do like sculpting. I probably would have liked it just as much or more. Who knows if it was sculpted. But I think it looks fine and it works. Um, and the tendrils that come off of his arms and legs and stuff, they look really cool too. They're flexible like plastic. Um, they do not, the ones that are on his feet and arms are are permanently attached, they're glued on, they can't come off. But the piece that is in the back does remove, so you can see that here. And Toxin does come with the same piece. And you can kind of, you know, if you were to put this in some boiling water, you could probably adjust it so like if you want to stretch it out or, you know turn it so like it points back or something, you could totally do that. It's it's very flexible. Um, it just doesn't really hold a pose unless you were to warm it up probably. So um, you can you, know, you can twist it around on his back and adjust it to any position you want or just take it out and have him look a little more simple with just the arms and leg tendrils. So overall really cool and I'll just pull him in close again so you can see the, uh, the black paint. All very clean. I don't see any big uh, chips or anything in it. The hands are really, really cool. They've got like sharp, you know, points at the end. They don't look too big. They look bigger than normal hands would, but too, not too big that they look weird on him. So I like that a lot. One is in sort of like a gripping, 
and the other is more open. So I definitely like that. So yeah, he's a really cool figure. Um, did I say that I was able to pick him up at Target? I think I did. I, I did get him at Target. Um, my boyfriend Todd found him in like a, a cart that uh, I guess, you know, an employee was meant to be putting things back on a shelf. And I just got so excited because um, I, it was like, you know, I'd been to Target several times already looking for Infinite Legends and hadn't really had much success. So I was really happy to be able to find this one um, and pick him up for the retail price. Because he go, he will, at the time he was going for like forty dollars online, twice the price. Now he's kind of dropped to like thirty maybe. So yeah, so go through articulation. <clears throat> like I said, the head moves crazy up and down, side to side, twists, bends, this that. It pops off very easily. Um, so you can see it's on the disc. And I know there are a lot of people making a um, an alternate head for him, like an unmasked head. Uh, his name is, is it Cletus Cassidy, I want to say? And people are using the DCUC Creeper head. That seems to be the most popular head for an unmasked version. Um, and they're painting, you know, painting him flesh-toned with, like, a, a red hair. Um, which I may, who knows, may attempt that someday, because um, Todd does have the Creeper figure. I could cast the head and uh, paint it up a, an alternate head, because alternate heads are fun to have for anyone, really. Um, and anyway, back to articulation. <laughs> His shoulders are on a ball disc. They go nice all the way up and down. It's kind of ratchety. Um, it does go, you know, all the way around. Uh, I think this shoulder's a little stuck. The very ratchety on the turn. Um, there's a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, a wrist rotation and pivot, um, or hinge, whatever you like. He does have an ab crunch. About that far forward. And doesn't really go back. Uh, he does have a waist twist, T jointed hips that go about that far out, forward, and back about that far. They have a cut at the th upper thigh, a double jointed knee. Does have the shin swivel because Bucky Cap had a boot. Um, this looks kind of funny to me doesn't really need it and um, since he doesn't have a boot it's just literally a cut in his shin so I'm not thrilled but it's it's you know whatever um, and then he does have the pivot and the rocker at the ankle the crazy crazy rocker on his tiny little feet <laughs> so yeah I mean that's really all there is to it for this guy he's definitely a really nice figure um, you know I really I'm glad I was able to pick him up at retail and I definitely recommend you try to do the same if you can I don't have any idea if at this point they there are stores that are reordering cases of these because this was the first case and they've moved on now to the second case that toxins in so I don't know if he is still being reordered by retail stores but you know if you're maybe in more of a quiet town than I am he could still be sitting on your shelf um, or you know maybe local shops comic shops have them or something um, but yeah, so I definitely do recommend him, and I think he's he's a great figure. I'm happy to have him. Put him, um, you know, I'm 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 starting to kind of build up some more Spider-Man characters, and I'm I'm happy about that because he, you know, I'm I am a, a fan of Spider-Man, you know. So he he's probably one of the the few like Marvel characters that I I would like to really more expand on. Um, like, as in my DC collection, I'd like to, you know, get night like all the Nightwing figures. And in Marvel, Spider-Man's probably the first one that I would say I'd pick up more figures for. And I'm kind of rambling now, so I'm going to stop. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, that's the first in my kind of uh, reviews of these Infinite Legends. I'm, I'm going to, you know, keep moving on these and get through the ones that I've picked up. And um, if I happen to find the couple that I'm still looking for, uh, mostly just at this point, Black Cat... Uh, Spider Girl and Black Widow, I'll add them into the bunch, and if not, after that, I'll probably be going on to some of the older figures that I've grabbed and, um, and hit you with those. So, yeah. <laughs> Thanks again, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.